Right now, I'm at Eason, a 3D scanner manufacturer here in Shenzhen, and they are going to do a 3D body scan of me today. Let's go! So this is their 3D body scanner and they use all the instructional light, kind of like the old one, but they upgraded it and it only takes about three seconds to get a body scan and let's do it. <laughs> The Eason body scanner uses a technique called structure light. It's the same technique my smaller Creality scanner uses. Each column of the scanner contains several video projectors and several cameras. The projectors create moving bands of light across the subject being scanned. The precise distance between the projector and any point on the subject can be calculated by looking at distance between bands of light. The main drawback to this method is in the 2-3 to three seconds it takes for all the bands of light to move across the subject. There is always some movement. This can introduce defects into the scan, but we can clean those up later.
I hope you're enjoying this video. Remember, not many channels can support themselves with YouTube ads anymore. And I don't have Patreon. So if you have any PCB-related needs, please take a minute to visit my sponsors at JLC PCB. PCB pro prototyping enables small creators around the world to bring their ideas to life cheaply and easily. Hardware projects like my drone charging pad, You can see the green light is blinking. It means when the pole pin touched the charging pad, it's working. HIC punch sensor. Or LED pectel rings. are good enough to confound or show potential investors. Custom PCBs are a great way to get started as an inventor and much of the engineering work can be outsourced. JLC can make your PCBs and with their PCB service, place all the components on them so you have a finished, ready-to-go hardware product you can confound and ship. A lot of people don't realize how much new digital fabrication technology has changed things in the past few years and how many doors is open. Even if you don't need a PCB right now, if your co-worker, your trial, your spouse, if they have an idea for an invention, don't dismiss it out of hand because you think it will cost a fortune to prototype. Maybe not. If whatever it is can be done with a PCB, there's pretty good chance you can get a low-cost prototype made that's more than good enough for cow founding. It's not a jackpack or flying car, but it's a start. And remember, when you manufacture with JLC PCB, you help support me and this channel. <laughs> This awkward pose is called an A pose. You might have heard of something related called a T pose. The idea is that with this position as a reference, 3D modelers can add joints so the model can move and pose realistically. Of course, this comes with a risk that my image might be used in ways I might find a little distasteful, either cartoon-like animations or hyper-realistic debates. But in the past, people who have done that have been very respectful and kept their work private for their personal enjoyment. By providing the data needed to create deepfakes that are indistinguishable from reality, I can better counter any attempts to back blackmail or smear me with fake videos by fabricating my own video showing just how easy it is to do. It's a counterintuitive strategy, but it's one of the ways this kind of emerging tech can be countered. If you make it easy to be produce fades and show how it's done, people will be more skeptical of video that shows uncharacteristic behavior. Like, if you see video of me running or eating a big salad, guarantee that's a deep fake. <laughs> Oh, 
是自动门啊，原来。哇哦，来介绍，嗯，让我们接下来介绍一下。它这个还有 feel， 一个沉浸式的一个，它这个是一个就是在明清时期闽南这边的一个一个风景。我我真的感觉就是可能因为我晕就是晕车晕船，但是我真的有感觉，我感觉我感觉那个船。它其实这个是一个博物馆。哦，它这么多投影仪在上面。八个，然后我们首先是在一个博物馆，然后我们进到这个馆里面去。它其实是一个像是一个，就是沉浸式的一个博物馆，一个全息的博物馆。啊，要是我在家里也弄一个这样也也还还行。我每一天就是就是沉浸式嘛，虚拟空间进入。还有感，他这么推推推推过来，我就好有感觉，真的。但是就是有点晕。现在就是这张，就是只有这张。现在做的做到做好的就是只有。那个大弯，如果你按那个键会怎么样？呜、哦。是吧？越往后渐渐。他只能就是介绍，但是他不能在空中甩出来。呃，这个我们在我们在我们那边那台那个万象墙上面是可以直接触碰的，这个这个效果还没有那一个好。在哪里？我然后主要的是就是这张闽南风景图，它其实就是你注意看它里面的人是会动的。我看到。它其实是将一张这张会就是静止、静止的一张画，然后给它赋予一些动态，然后你就能知道当时的一个岭南的人的生活，还有这些都是一些比较就是比较。主要的一些当时的一些地方地方，然后刚才我们看的四套台，他就做了一个这个沉浸式。啊，都晕了，我都我。对他这个的，其实他这个的那个，可能还调的还没那好，现在还在调试中，之后可能就不会说。其实这个晕车的话，其实看着就有点不舒服。I'm sure a lot of you want a copy of this model, right? Well. All raw 3D scans need to be cleaned up a bit, and this certainly did. So I gave the raw files to a computer artist from the Philippines I know, Max Empanado. He did an amazing job, as you can see, and we are going to be seeing more of his work in the future. When it came time to pay, Max refused to charge. But as you know, I always try to pay artists who do work for me. If they ask, I'll promote their channel. But paying cash is always best. Matt suggested I donated the proceeds to a char charity in the Philippines. After some research, I found a reputable one. It's called Vernali, and they help feed, house, and educate children living on the street in Manila. While we all want to promote tech education, sometimes we have to take care of more fundamental problems. While we also use new technology to hopefully create long-term solutions, I reached out to my friends at my mini factory, and they kindly agreed to host the STL. After PayPal takes a cut, sorry, they are PayPal. That's what they do. All proceeds go directly to Renani to help the children there. It's just eleven dollars. It's a really cool model that's printable on a DLP or FDM printer. And you are helping a really good cause. Just do me a favor and don't share the file. Those kids need a meal more than anyone needs a free model of me in a bikini. Next time, I'm going to show you how this print turns out on Creality 3D's new SLA printer, the LD002R. Until then, please subscribe. Higher numbers really help me get more sponsors and review units. You can click notify, but we all know YouTube won't notify you. So please check back every week. If you would like to help out, sponsors see my videos a week before everyone else. Links to coffee and subscribe star are in the description box. The absolute best thing you can do for me, it's word of mouth post about me where you can tell your friends. YouTube won't suggest my videos, so this really really helps more than anything. Until next time. Remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.